All right. You're down here already. I was just going to call you. This is Special Agent Gene Huntby of the FBI. It seems your case may be crossing into his jurisdiction. Agent Huntby, why don't I let you explain the situation to them? Thank you, Captain Brass. It's my understanding your prime suspect in the arson fire at the Super La Spa is Pedro Baja. Is my information correct? We're looking at him for the arson and a homicide. A young woman by the name of Portia Weissman died in the fire. Is that right? Well, let me explain why I'm here. Are you familiar with Lorena de la Colmena? Unfortunately, as a member of law enforcement, you should be. In Spanish, it means the Queen of the Hive, and it's the alias for a woman named Beatriz Salazar, now the most dangerous drug lord in Mexico. We believe Pedro Baja was in her employ. Okay. So is this the part where you tell us to back off Mr. Baja and let you do your job? No, Ms. Seidel, not at all. I want you to get your man. I want you to get him so bad he'll have no choice but to cut a deal. You see, in the entire universe of La Reina de la Colmena's drug trafficking operation, Baja's just a satellite, a small-time money launderer through those little shops of his. But for some reason, we have him on wiretaps in direct communication with Salazar. The taps themselves are useless because Baja and Salazar communicate in code, referring to things like family, weather, whatever. But why she's talking to him directly instead of through an intermediary, I have no idea. But it's that direct connection that means, if we can bring down Baja, then we have our best shot yet at taking down the Queen of the Hive herself. Agent Huntby has requested the opportunity to keep tabs on us for a while, and run this one as a joint jurisdiction. You do your thing, I'll do mine. Based on what evidence? I was there when Baja said he'd never been in Portia Weissman's apartment. His DNA in that apartment will get you your warrant. Mr. Baja, Las Vegas Police, open up. Looks like he's not here. I guess we'll have to execute the warrant without him. Score one for the lockpick gun. Always cleaner than breaking out the battering ram. like an empty financial or legal portfolio with the spa's logo on it those records we found in the vix oven are just the kind you'd keep in a binder like this vegan blueberry muffins they look almost edible and flammable Remember, we're looking for evidence which relates to the arson and homicide at the spa, as well as the break-in at the victim's apartment. I'm not sure how a hard drive is relevant. Tax forms claim that Superla Spa was highly profitable. You can tell a lot about a person from the kind of shoes they wear. You can tell a lot more if you forensically examine their shoes. Shears are made for cutting pipes, and we have a severed gas line to account for. That looks just like the tool we got from Reed. I 
wonder why they need so much acetone. Place is a little too masculine for manicures. We can't just pick that up. We can't just pick that up. I don't think we're going to pull any prints off of that. What makes you think there would be latent fluids there? That's just where someone would hold a shoe when putting it on. We can't just pick that up. It's a match. Each side of the tool matches one of the distinct shapes ventilating the spa's drywall. Brian Reed's Denver tool is just as likely to have been used to help spread the fire as the tool we recovered from the barber shop. The tool from the barber shop could have been used to break into Porsche's apartment. Almost pure acetone. No fragrances, no dye. Very few impurities at all. It's a vegan blueberry muffin, just like it said on the package. Factor out the carbon, and the muffin that helped ignite the fire is identical to the ones we found in Baja's office. Based on the placement of Baja's fingerprint, those have got to be his shoes. The hair placed Baja in Porsche's apartment, but the footprint puts him there sometime after visiting the spa. That 
can tell us who handled this tool. It's not going to work. We can't just pick that up. What's this? Trend Micro Internet Security Pro has detected a virus. Repair. Looks like someone's been practicing unsafe surfing. Okay, let's see what Pete has on this hard drive. Cat pictures, puzzle games, and Portia Weissman's monthly household budget. Portia Weissman used this tool. It might be the one Brian Reed told us she was keeping at the spa. Portia kept her Denver tool at the spa, right where Pete Baja could have easily taken it. Look at how the imperfections on the blade match up to the markings on the gas line. These shears were used to cut that gas line. What do you got in the way of evidence? What evidence do you have? So those shears look as though they were used to cut the pipe, but we don't have the physical evidence to put those shears in Baja's hands. 